Well, it's a bit of an update. It's been forever since I did a house update, but it's Friday, November 13th. Great time to come out of retirement from YouTube. Yeah, Friday the 13th. Anyway, um, you can see the outside of the house now has, um, or outside of the garage now has the laughing up, the metal, outside of the tar paper. It's got just a couple more pieces to cut, and that'll be finished. And then basically, starting on Monday, uh, or whenever the weather dries out a bit, uh, I'll get the um, the parge coat on the outside of the uh, outside of the garage to sort of weather tight and seal in the shell, which should be pretty good. The other thing going on is the roofing material has now been specced. I'm just waiting for the final uh, bids to come back to sign the contract on getting the roofing material going. I'm going to go with synth synth uh, a synthetic slate uh, from one of two different companies. So we'll see which one I end up picking depending on when the quotes come back because cost is a bit of a factor on this one. Uh, narrowed it down to a lot of really good choices, but uh, we'll show you that when they come in. So hopefully within the next month, the roof should be on and finished for the, uh, the garage, which should be good because then it really will be a weather tight shell with the concrete on the outside, the uh, fi finished roofing product on the roof. The only thing really missing the obvious gaps is the man door headed to the barbecue area or the outdoor kitchen area, and then the five garage doors that'll have to wait probably till spring. For this winter, I'll probably just board over them temporarily. And, uh, yeah, anyway, excuse the mess in the shop, but a lot of stuff going on there for my recreational car projects, of which I'm videoing all that stuff too, but I'm not sure anyone's interested in that for my channel. But uh, if you are, let me know. Put a like or a thumbs up. Anyway, that's what's going on here at the house construction. Well, today's Monday, and uh, as you can see, the parge coat is going on, which is looking good, sooner rather than later. The parts coat will dry out and that'll turn into a light gray kind of concrete, which won't exactly match the house, obviously, but it is nice to see, you know, that paper protected and really finally just get this thing weather tight, at least uh, as far as the, the structure of the outside shell. I uh, did some looking looking into the uh, garage doors. Got to make a few phone calls about that and get some estimates coming in. I called the uh, roofer today just to see how the estimates were going with the material for the roofing. and. Uh, Anyway, I should know that by the end of the week and get that stuff ordered. So hopefully, you know, a couple weeks we'll have the roof on. Maybe, maybe in time for Thanksgiving, probably not, but definitely before December 15th, I would think. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Happy November. I'm just taking another quick video here uh, showing the parging, uh, the coat of concrete that goes over the metal lath outside the garage. As you can see, we got some work going on right now. Uh, the upper uh, upper section of the garage is coming along quite nicely. It's kind of nice in this particular color when it's wet because it's kind of dark and when it's light it's sort of light gray and between the two colors is more or less the shade of the stonework on the house. So it's kind of a good sneak peek as to what it might look like with the finished product on it. Uh, at any rate you can see that the front of the garage is completely done. Uh, on the far right it's a little bit of concrete because there's natural concrete poured on that corner for the return of the garage so it doesn't need uh, any parging or coating. But the uh, rest of the, the face is pretty much done. There's a little bit to do up there and a little bit to do left on the wall over here near the outdoor kitchen and the deck, or what will be what will be the outdoor kitchen. Anyway, that's the update. Well, as you can see, the, uh, the concrete uh, scratch coat, the parging, that's what they call it, is all over the lath that was installed. So effectively, all of the tar paper that was protecting the plywood sheathing is now covered. Um, it should be you know, dry, dry to the touch and tomorrow, uh, but fully hardened off in maybe a couple of days or so. Uh, it's gonna be above freezing, which should be good. Um, you can see the sort of dark spot in there near the tall aluminum ladder. That's where the freshest last little bit was put on, but everything else has had basically a full day to dry more or less. So as you can see, uh, you know, the windows are in, scratch coats in, it's waiting for the final roofing materials. Um, I have to get that scheduled. That's hot on my list of things to arrange for next week is getting the materials ordered for the roof. Uh, I have an estimate coming for the gutter uh, pretty soon. Um, in fact, I've already got the estimate for the gutter, now that I think about it. Um, but I may not do that until the spring, or just before the spring season, maybe in, in late winter, uh, when it hasn't quite got the rainy season, because I'd like to have that all sorted out before the spring rains come. I've got that going on, and uh, I'm getting the estimate for the actual stonework, the veneer for the outside to match the house, as you can see kind of on the left of the frame. It'll be the same material, uh, but that'll obviously also be in the spring. It's a little late to try to get that going right now, and just with budget and time, it's probably not for the best this go-around. Uh, I'm also going to call about garage doors to see uh, see how much that'll set me back from, from a local place, 
And I have to order the man door that goes in the side of the garage, which you can see the opening is cut out for over here near that aluminum ladder in the frame. So that's what's going on here with the, uh, the garage. And uh, hopefully this will be a little break from construction for a while once the roofing's on. Um, you know, we try to try to just get it weather, weather sealed up tight. The one other thing I'm looking for in the area is I have to find somebody who can match the stucco that was done on the, uh, the soffits of the house uh, to the garage. Unfortunately, the mason that I deal with uh, for this, who's doing a great job, he's pretty honest about it. He just doesn't do stucco. And he's, you know, certain, certain people are trained and have a lot of practice in doing that and doing it really, really nicely. So he suggests that I go find somebody who's an expert at that. So long story short, I got to go find somebody to do stucco. But in order to do that, I also need to get the lights put up in the soffits as well. So it's this chain of events that need to happen, which is no big deal. It's all manageable. It's just uh, some stuff I got to go work on. So long story short, there is the update on the shop.